Good morning. Slept like a baby last night. Oh, totally refreshed and human. You wouldn't even know that it's 1 a.m. at home with how awake I am. Living in the southern United States, there's a word I don't get to use very often, drich. It means grey and wet and miserable and cold. It's so good to be home. It's a good morning from a bus stop in Aberdeen. Today's plan, I have to get to Glasgow. To do that, taking a bus into the city centre, which I think I see on the horizon, and then I'm taking a train to Glasgow. I originally had the 8.30 train booked. ScotRail cancelled it about a month ago due to driver shortage, so I'm gonna see if I can get into town early enough to get the 7.30 train. Next step in the journey, three and a half hours on this bad boy, the class 125 inner city e train, high speed, whatever they call it now on ScotRail. It's actually my first time on one of these because they didn't get introduced to ScotRail until after I left the country in 2012. So yeah, excited. Oh, it's too goddamn early. So this is kind of fun. I had originally booked this 724 train from Aberdeen to Glasgow, and then I realized I wanted to sleep in a little longer maybe, so I changed my ticket for five pounds extra to the 830 train to Glasgow. And then about a month ago, ScotRail sends me an email saying, hey, we canceled it. You can take the next train if you like. So I asked them if I could take the earlier train. They said yes. So I got to pay five pounds extra to take the exact same train I booked in the first place. Cool. But, hey, we're moving. And I'm not that tired. Ish. trains and playing in the paddling pool and it's just uh, it's not just a journey from Aberdeen to Glasgow it's kind of a journey through my childhood as well it's, it's nice We are now 
not approaching ten. Get out of the gap when leaving the train. Change that for Travis's testing route. is kind of a company of contrasts so many people online seem to give them just a lot of flack about running the railway badly but the, the journey is so you know it was a comfortable train it was perfectly on time it was clean the staff were all friendly I lived in Glasgow for about eight years until I moved to the US in 2012. I still think of it as the city that I'm from, even though I'm not really growing up in Perth and Balloch, which is outside of Glasgow, are probably my home. But Glasgow was my, the final place I lived as an adult before moving to the US to get married. It's, it's a fun city, it's a beautiful city, and it's changed a lot in the 12 years since I moved out of this country. Some of it good. The campus here at the University of Strathclyde has changed remarkably. So many new buildings. Cathedral Street is unrecognizable. But some of it bad. Sokiel Street was a mess even when I left. And it looks like things haven't changed for the better. In fact, it looks like they might have changed for the worse in that time. But I'm glad to be back. The Merchant Chippy was still open, was able to get a nice haggis supper for lunch. And uh, yeah, it's nice to be home. Let's explore some more. So it is Friday morning. I had a wonderful day in Glasgow yesterday, just walking around, experiencing it, and then having dinner with the friend who's getting married today. It's about 7.30 or so, and the wedding starts at one. So I've got the morning to explore. I think I'll go take a little walk. It's a little gray and wet outside, but it's Glasgow. That's kind of what you expect. So let's just go see where we end up.
like names for Glasgow is the Deer Green Place. I think they mean deer as in like an affectionate term, not as inexpensive. The green is definitely true. It's Kevin Grove Park. It's beautiful. So it's about time to head off to the wedding. Wish I could bring you with me, but it's you know small, intimate wedding, only about 20 people, and photography is discouraged because they've got their own official photographer. So no wedding pictures. But you want to see how I look? Not bad, huh? This is what I wore to my own wedding 12 years ago. It cost more than my wife's wedding dress, but now I've got to wear it to my third wedding ever. So per wedding cost cheaper now. That's some justification. See you when I get back. This trip's been awesome. The wedding last night was incredible. Just getting to see friends that I haven't seen for far too long. Got to meet new friends. I had a really, really good time. But unfortunately, I do have to be back at work on Tuesday morning. It's Saturday right now, so I need to start thinking about how to get home well obviously i know how i'm going to get home i need to start thinking about telling you how i'm going to get home so the plan for this morning we have a breakfast with the wedding party i'm very excited to get to go to and then i'm going to take a bus through to edinburgh so that's that's where we're flying out of on sunday so i won't be taking you to breakfast but we'll, we'll be taking you on the bus i'll see you there Today we're taking the CityLink service 900 between Glasgow and Edinburgh. It runs every 15 minutes and it's kind of expensive if you buy it through CityLink. But if you buy it through Megabus you can get a good deal. So that's what I did. I think it cost me about £3. So let's uh, get on board and see what it's like.
on the service 900 from Glasgow to Edinburgh, there was a massive queue, but luckily because I'd pre-booked my ticket through Megabus, I was able to skip that queue and get right on board, which means I get the all-important front seat. This journey takes about an hour and a half, it's a little longer than taking the train, but it can be a whole lot cheaper. So that's definitely what I would recommend. Book it through Megabus rather than CityLink. You can save even more. I didn't get a chance to say anything while on the bus, but it was rammed. Somebody sitting next to me. It was fine. You know, it was a bus ride. Traffic sucked. The USB charging didn't work, but it got me from one place to the other without any major delay. It was fine. <laughs> 